Good morning, Facebook. Um, at the time of this um, time I'm making this video, I find myself frustrated like many, many of you about recent events. In St. Louis uh, or Louisiana area, we have, you know, a, a murder in the streets, one of our brothers. And in Minnesota, we have another murder. And this is played out on video for all the world to see. And, um, you know, it leaves me with a sense of frustration. Look, I, I'm a father to two black young men. I am a brother to seven men. And we're left with a sense of vulnerability but I think more than that, a sense of frustration. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on here. I know people got a lot of things to do. But when you're in a state like this, that you think about what can we do? We, as American citizens, should not have to walk around, ride around with a sense of fear that the actual public servants who are supposed to protect the community are ones are, are ones that we have to fear. You know, I was riding um, yesterday. A police car rolled up behind me. And I was wondering whether or not I would be pulled over and what would happen next. And we all have to think about that because that's who we are. And so I'm also a professor, and so I get to interact or influence thousands of, 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 of people, students, young black men who are um, trying to become better with their education and become greater than they were before they walked into our doors. I was sitting down with a couple of them yesterday, and we were really just living in this frustration. And we wanted to see if we could turn frustration into motivation. Because everybody out there wants to do something. And I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about everybody. Because I know if you have any kind of conscience, if you have any kind of mind, you're going to look at this and say something is wrong. And when something is wrong, that calls for action to change it. And we are frustrated and we're 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 wondering what is it that we can do. So I'm really challenging anybody who hears this or is thinking about this. Let's figure out what it is that we need to do to fix it. What is it that we want? And as I'm thinking about the problem itself, it's not just an issue of skin color that it, it is black people. I think the, 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 the reason is embodied in the blackness that we have. But what it, the real issue is, is that whether it's the police or people in power, what have you, they do not respect us. They do not respect us. We do not have the economic power, the political power to garner the respect that other groups within this country can do. They do not respect us. So if they know that there are no consequences to the actions that they take, if they do not have respect for us, then they will do whatever they want to at the time. And there are going to be some police officers who are very good. My father was a police officer. I've, I've, I have uh, family members who are police officers. But what I'm saying, too, is this, that good police officers should not want this in their midst. And if you're okay with it, if you can turn a blind eye to it, then you are complicit in this criminal activity that is happening within your ranks. So that's the message to police officers, to white America. If you're okay with it, 
I saw an interesting video where a woman in a, um, um, a kind of college campus asked a group of predominantly white students, said, if you were being treated as black Americans in this country, if, you're, if you would like to be treated like black Americans are treated in this country, please stand up. And she asked the question a couple of times, and no one st stood up. And she said, that means that you understand what's going on, you understand the inequity that's going on, and you are okay with it. So, white America or non-black America, if you're okay with it, if you're okay with what's happening, and the use of force and the murder that's going on in the streets, if you're okay with that, then you're complicit as well. So what do, we, what do we want? So in my opinion, there's two things that we want. Number one, we need a, at a federal level, we need some legislation that establishes the rules of engagement and the use of force by the police on American citizens legislation that establishes rules of engagement and use of force by the police on its citizens. And we need that at a national level. And it needs to be something that is, um, something that is, is, is enforced and something that is promoted. So that's what we should march for, fight for, and I'm calling to say, let's organize together. We, especially at the, you know, I'm, I'm a professor at a black college, right? Every black college should have uh, uh, representatives on this campus that says we're going to get together and let's march on Washington if that's what it takes and let's get this to happen so this stuff can change so that that police officers who decide they want to bounce, stray outside of the law when they're dealing with us or any citizen in that regard, they know that there are consequences and they will respect that even if they do not respect us. The second part is about in a black community, if there is such a thing, collectively we need to establish a position of political and economic power so that legislators and everybody up and down the line has a level of respect for us. And right now, we have some who are doing well, we have a lot who are not, and it's dispersed, is disjointed, it is not collective, we do not speak with a similar voice, we do not vote in a similar voice, and we do not use the power that we already have. We don't use it. We need to pull it together and use it to, to establish candidates, to support certain piece of legislation, to lobby, and to um, be a influence in this country so that we are not perceived to be weak and disrespected. So this is what needs to happen. And, you know, I'm just putting my voice in it. I know se several people are thinking the same things. I know several people are trying to figure out what to do. Well, I'm, I'm offering a couple of things that we can do. If we get together, we're living in an age now where everybody can connect. I'm sure eventually there could be hundreds, thousands, whatever, listening to what I'm saying. And there's thousands and millions who have listened to things that others have said. We can connect in an instant. So let's use that power to get together and make some change on this thing. And we have a presidential election right now, and several uh, Congress people, senators, things like that, that are being elected in this cycle. Let's influence this cycle and show that we have the power. And that way, we will have the respect in this country, and things like this will not happen to us.
Okay? That's it.